Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh. In today's lecture, I will explain you how you can convert SQL Server where binary data type to Postgre binary data type. Now, why this lecture is important is because if you are about to migrate your SQL Server into Postgre, the main challenge will come is while how you will export a where binary or binary or image data type to a byte data type. Now, there is a basic way of doing it. Actually, byte data type and any binary data type are nothing. They are just an hexadecimal code. Okay. So now what I'm doing in my first example, what I will be doing is I will be converting my simple string into a where binary and believe me it's just not the string any where binary you can do it okay because the format is the same so if I run it it gives me an hexadecimal code it may not be viewable I will just copy paste here I have zoomed in a little bit I can just zoom it a little bit more wait a second okay so now Wait a second, let me just move it. There. Okay, so now this is the hexadecimal code. Now the problem comes with SQL Server is this first two characters are not identifiable by Postgre. If I just copy paste and go into my Postgre and try to run it in this one and I run it, it gives me hexadecimal code, X is uh, invalid hexadecimal code. The reason is this 0x is not, you can say, uh, advised. Or you can say it cannot be taken as a valid hexadecimal code in Postgre. Now, how you will solve it? Now, one more problem comes is if you want to convert cast this hexadecimal code as where care 100. And now if I run it, so what happens is it's actually converted back to hello world. Instead, I want to get this hexadecimal code instead of instead of getting my hello world back i want to get this hexadecimal code so that i can send it across to get it you can say convert it into byte data type or to store in byte data and why it is important because if it is a text you can convert it back into byte data type on the end of uh, on this uh, post grain but the problem comes is if you are storing some image or some other file, then you cannot convert it back to where care or and where care and do the same thing. So only solution you are left with is extracting this out of, outside the out of the hexadecimal code. Okay. Now I will explain you if I just remove this one, these first two characters that zero X, which are not required and run my query in post gray. So here you will see, I will be able to decode it back to hello world. So here you can see I can encode and decode. So how first happens is we need to encode this into an hexadecimal. So what this decode method will do is it will convert into a binary byte data type. And this encode method, what it do is it convert the binary data type into a different parameter. I am saying escape, escape is in the normal form. So it is in the text format. Okay. So it will convert. So this is how my data can be exported there. Okay, now to get this value outside the where binary, what you need to do is there is already a function in master DB that is function where binary to hexadecimal string. So this function, what it do is it actually get you the same string, whatever the hexadecimal value it is getting generated. So if you see, so this is what it has given. Now it is a text. Now it is a text. Now one more thing as you need to exclude these first two digits. So how you will be able to do that is you can use substring for that. But now the problem comes is in substring, you need to pass two parameters. First, the text itself. Second, the position. And then you have to pass the length, total length of the text. Now, what you will be doing is you will be copy pasting the same expression again and again into here at this place also and this place also. So if I try to mimic it, so it should look like something like this. And if I go with this approach, what happens is I will be executing this expression two times, not one time. So in that, what happens? Your export time will increase. So how you can fix it? You can fix it using this cross apply. In the cross apply, what I'm doing is I'm exporting my hello world into where binary and getting the string out of it. And once I get it, I can able to get the binary or you can say hexadecimal value without zero X. Okay. I hope this lecture is, uh, will be informational for you. If you have any question, you can put in comments or you can reach it by my email ID. That's yogesh.mail at the gmail.com. And this is my phone number 9902326250. And also one more thing. See, feel free to contact me. And uh, in future, I will be posting one video where I will show you how you can export complete database from SQL Server to Postgre without any tool using just SQL Server. Okay. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Take care.